How you doing? My name is Mike Ulrich. Today we are here with Marine Max Venice, where we get to do a video walkthrough on the Boston Whaler 350 Realm. Come aboard and let's get started. Starting off here on the back of the boat, you're going to notice this one is equipped with triple 300 Mercury engines. This one does have the joystick piloting option. Uh, this one is in the Cold Fusion white for these. You can get them in black, of course. Right in front of it, you're going to have your Whaler bench seat. Gives you large seating right across the back. Over here on the rear side of the transom, you are going to have your standard live well. Moving forward, you're going to have a large dive door or tuna door located on the port side of the boat. If you notice from earlier, the ladder stores nice underneath that rear bench seat. Moving forward on the realm, one of the coolest and most desired features is how they designed the back of this boat and how functional they made it. So you're going to have the seat here so you can have the double benching facing forward, which is getting more and more popular in the larger center consoles. The Whaler, of course, took it a step further with how versatile they made the back of this boat. So right here, you've got your easy access to a cooler that you can grab stuff nice and easy, but it's not that easy to load from here. So like I said, Whaler took it one step further, made it a little bit easier to open that area. So when you want to have a day on the water, you can easily load and unload that ice chest and have easy access. Moving over to the other side of the boat, you're going to have an excellent storage area located right below here. But one of the coolest features and my personal favorites is what they did with the Corian countertop here. Concealed in here is I just think one of the most wow factors on this boat is how that grill opens up and how you get access to it. With it popping up and spinning to the side, you don't lose any counter space. So you have easy access to cook here on your Kenyan top, but with the countertop move over to the side, you can still utilize that space. Concealed up under the hard top on this boat, you do have the sure shade. When that is deployed, it will come all the way back to the engines here, putting the entire back of the boat in shade. You also have your nice rocket launchers located over on each side of this boat. Moving over to the helm, you've got a beautiful helm in true whaler fashion. All of your rocker switches located nice and high up top. You're never gonna have to worry about bumping those while you're underway. You've got a nice deep tray up here with USB charging ports in it. It's a perfect spot to throw your screen mats when they're not in use. Coming down to the helm, you're gonna have your nice twin Raymarine screen where you need to view anything you have to view is easily accessible to take a peek at while you're out here. Coming down, you've got your fusion head unit right here next to your Lenco trim tabs. And of course your throttles with joystick located right next to it, easy in reach for the captain. Located up on top of this one, you've got a couple different options. First one of course is going to be your sea keeper option. The display is gonna be located right here. Here's going to be your Raymarine VHF and then right next to it's going to be your Mercury vessel view. Over here, you are going to have a lockable glove box, which is nice for some other things that you're gonna to need to put up there, keep it locked out of the way, secure, and more importantly, dry. Another great feature that this boat gives you is like I said, it is set up for entertaining. You notice in the back how functional that seat is with the cooler. Well, they keep the same thing going in here. So you'll notice right here, you've got the two bench seats facing forward so you can enjoy the view. I wanna stop and enjoy a nice meal. You've got some more functionality back here. So this one, you got a trigger right here. Give that an easy pull. This is going to swivel 180 and now you've got a nice common area. A table does mount coming up from right here. So you can have a little nice dinette area. For those who are a little height challenge, you can pop these up, have some nice seating so the kids and everybody can enjoy one spot. So another great feature that this boat gives you is the helm and cockpit AC. So even while you're up here on a hot day like today, you can enjoy that cool breeze while you're sitting here having a meal. Now let's move down and take a look at the cabin. That's right, this is a center console that also still has the cabin. Nice large headspace. Moving down here, you've got plenty of room for a 35 foot boat. Now this whole area does convert into a bed. So if you want to use this for overnight capabilities, you can absolutely do so. A popular trip that a lot of people like to do from Southwest Florida is they will shoot down to the Keys. This is 100% a perfect boat for doing that. All your friends and family can enjoy themselves outside in the fresh air, but if you've got little ones or anybody that gets hot, you can step down here and have plenty of room. Moving inside, you're gonna have your large bathroom. So this is a nice setup on this boat for how well they utilize the space. You've got two nice shelves along the back wall. This is a full wet head. So the sink head will move up, clip onto the wall, and you can use the whole thing as a shower. Coming into the bow of the boat, you're gonna have one of the coolest areas in my opinion. I know certainly it's my wife's favorite area. She loves the sun bed. 
not that we personally own one of these boats, but it wouldn't be bad if we did. So you've got a large sun pad up here that you can comfortably sit, three people. You can enjoy yourselves. You can sit out here in the sun. Your guests can enjoy it. You can have the bow sail shade that will come up. It will mount to the hard top and there's two rod holders up forward on the bow. that you can put that in and put this whole area under shade, essentially covering the whole boat front to back in shade. You're gonna have excellent cup holders throughout. You're going to have a fusion control unit over here. So you can control the music from the bow. You don't have to climb all the way to the back. You're gonna have additional seating up here with storage underneath, of course. Over here, you're going to have your windlass is all going to be concealed below the deck. Turn and lock latch. You're gonna have a nice big tie off, windlass, manual control, another uh, remote control, and a freshwater wash down located up here as well. So that's it. That is my quick video walkthrough of the Boston Whaler 350 Realm. For more questions, you can reach me here at Marine Max Venice. Again, my name is Mike Ulrich. Thanks for watching.